So you bring up a really good point with sparring. You know, you're talking about how you spend train, spend the time with sparring when you're focusing that energy. Talk to me a little bit about also getting your technical work in, your drilling work, and then also you mentioned you don't like to exert too much energy with other things on hard sparring days, let's say doing sprint work or weight training or whatever else. How do you like to, do you have a set preference where you're like, all right, I'm going to do my weight training in the morning and do my hard work at night or my drilling work at night or kind of stuff uh, like that? I mean, right now, there's nothing in the morning for me. I work a regular job and I cut down trees. So I'm working hard every day doing that. Yeah. Um, if, for example, Monday is a hard sparring day for me. So Monday I'll do a light pad work session instead of shadow boxing, but then we're sparring. We're sparring for, I, my fight is, uh, for this fight is four minute rounds. We're doing... It's three four-minute rounds. We're doing six four-minute rounds of sparring. Different guys going hard. That's exerting it. Everything's on the table. When that's done, I get a little pad work in. Then the next day is strength lifting, sprints, and then jiu-jitsu drilling. Um, I have a regular like classes that I attend, and then I have a private technical session with uh, Greg Deepa, our head, uh, Deep Squally, our head instructor at Long Island MMA for jiu-jitsu. So, you know, you have to break it up and be smart about it. Um, I, one of the biggest things I think though is people don't, everyone wants to work on their weakness, no one works on their strength. Um, you see it with top guys in the UFC that are strikers come in and they work on jiu-jitsu so much that they forget about their striking. You gotta work your strength just as much as your weakness. I'm a big believer of that. Uh, my strength from everyone, what they know is my stand-up. I work my stand-up just as much as I would if it was my weakness, just as much as I'm working everything else. Everything's equal. It's mixed martial arts. You have to mix it up. You have to be able to wrestle grapple, kickbox, box, you have to be able to do it all. That's an awesome point. And talk a little bit about what's it like to have such a, a team around you with the quality guys that you have at, let's say, Long Island MMA and with all the other coaches that you work with. What's that like? Next level. Um, that's all I can say. It's I've come up from small gyms, um, starting out. I've come up from gyms where we had nobody except my best friend, who's my training partner, really, to spar, to, you know more jiu-jitsu gyms where they were just jiu-jitsu guys. Now, with Long Island MMA, you get the MMA work in. That's incredible. I have the strength and conditioning coach, uh, Rob, out of Long Island Strength and Performance in there, who's awesome. So I have that all under one roof. Not only do I get good sparring at Panzas and Long Island MMA, uh, for those of you who don't know, Panzas is uh, a school in Syosset. Um Anthony D'Angelo is one of the instructors. He's my head kickboxing coach. Phenomenal over there. Um, I go from there, and then my boxing coach takes me to Westbury Boxing Gym, so I'm getting sparring in with pro boxers also. Back to my point before that this is MMA, and when a true, true MMA artist is to me, someone that really competes in mixed martial arts, is they need to be able to handle any situation. I can put them in a boxing match, and they may not win, but they can handle themselves in boxing. I can put them in a wrestling match, and they may not win, but they can wrestle. And that's really big on how I live my MMA career. That's a huge point. That's really like a refreshing statement to be able to hear is not just looking at this one specialty and only do that, but being able to perform in all the other skills. So before we leave off this particular cut and this particular video, do you have any um, last shout outs, any last words or anything to say to your opponent as well? Um, you know, I'm not really big on trash talking. Max, I'll meet you in the center of the ring. Uh, you will, you, it's not going to be hard to find me. Um, my team, Long Island MMA, uh, Panzers, um, Long Island Strength and Performance, uh, Westbury Boxing Gym, all my coaches from there, all my teammates, um, Evolution Combat Club, my sponsors, Life of a Fighter, Monster Nutrition, EMC Builders, guys that have come up with me from the beginning, um, and now we're here. You know, thanks for all the support and love, and we're coming 100%, and we'll see you all there September 25th, and don't blink. Shit, not gonna